In order to count right angles in a turn, we first need to understand what a turn is. So a turn is one full 360 degrees. Or if you think of it literally, if you're sitting at your computer, and this is you, and you're sitting at your computer desk facing your computer, and you're sitting in a swivel chair, and you decide to turn all the way around in your swivel chair so that you again face your computer once you've turned all the way around. You've completed one mathematical turn, which we said before is equivalent to 360 degrees. So we basically can convert turns into degrees by using this conversion. So in this example, we want to figure out three-fourths of a complete turn and determine how many right angles that gives us and then what degrees that gives us. So it's basically doing this conversion. Three-fourths a turn into degrees. First, let's figure out how many right angles. Instead of starting on top, we start down at the bottom and we go almost full all the way around except we stop after three-fourths of a turn. So let's see how many right angles. This right here is a right angle. This right here is a right angle. And this right here is a right angle. So we've gone one, two, three of the four right angles that make up a turn. If you look at a full turn, there are four right angles that make up a full turn. So we've gone three of the four. So three-fourths of a turn is equivalent to three right angles. Three right angles is equivalent to 270 degrees because three times 90 degrees equals 270 degrees. So three-fourths of a turn is also equal to 270 degrees.